Hello everyone, welcome back to Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you all for stopping by the channel, checking out my videos. If you could, please like and subscribe and of course share with all your bearded friends. Today's episode, we'll be talking out, uh, about a company out of Benton, Tennessee by the name of Bear Lawson Beard Co. Please stand by after the short introduction and I'll jump right into the review. Thank you. Alright guys, welcome back and again today's episode will be focused on Bear Lawson Beard Co. out of Benton, Tennessee. The company's owners, uh, Adam Maple, and it was founded in 2019. The entire company is based around one thing and that's making a man out of your baby face. <laughs> uh, anyone can grow facial hair but it takes a man to grow a beard and they see a beard as an institution. They formulate their products to match, match the business vision of the company. And Adam is just simply a great guy. Um, he, uh, throughout his life, he's always kind of tinkered in different things, uh, different businesses, um, just kind of learning new traits, new trades, etc. Um, he tried another company's products and actually came up with the idea of, hey, Maybe I can do this. Let's give this a try. And uh, through research and multiple batches of his own products, um, he actually developed a, a company uh, by the name of Bear Grease, um, which, of course, um, turned into Bear Lawson Beard Co. Um, the name Bear Lawson Beard Co. was actually developed in reminiscence of his late grandfather, and uh, he stayed true to that name throughout um, throughout the business. Um, you can find Adam at various events, um, Tennessee businesses, barber shops, beauty shops. You can find all of his products there. And, um, one thing that makes this company unique that I personally love because I love visiting this place is, uh, his products are now on the shelves at Sugarland Distillery in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I'm a common visitor of that place. Um, I actually only live probably about five hours or so from Benton, Tennessee myself, so not far away at all from this company. Um, Bear Lawson actually offers beard oils, um, beard butters, and beard combs, as well as some awesome um, Bear Lawson swag. So uh, after the review, if you could uh, drop by the description below, check out their shop. I'll leave a direct link there. And uh, again, you'll find some amazing products uh, from a small-time company that is truly making a name for themselves and their products actually speak very well for their brand. Um, they sent me two different types of products, their beard butter and their beard oils. I'm going to do a little bit of a different format in this review. I'll actually um, review the beard oils and beard bombs together basically by scent profile. Um, so for the uh, one ounce beard oils, you can get this on their website for $19.99, the industry average being between $15 to $20, so this is a good deal. Um, the two ounce beard butters will run you $17.99, which is an absolutely awesome deal right there in the median of the country's average for the beard game, if you will. Um, the both the butters and the oils come in six different scent profiles at the time of this video two of the scent profiles i'll be reviewing today in both the butter and the oil um, for the beard oil um, it comes in an amber glass bottle like we're all used to with a black dropper top um, one nice touch is on the dropper they actually have units of measurement in the milliliters so you're actually able to see how much of the oil you're putting into your beard 
Um, for the container of the beard butter, it's a black tin with a screw off top. Um, for the labeling uh, on the oil, uh, it's one simple label on the front. Has the scent profile, the name of the company with their logo, which is really, really nice. I like that logo. Nice and simple, but creative at the same time. Uh, says that it's made in Benton, Tennessee, and it has an ingredients list here at the bottom. For the butter, it's got a big sticker logo of the company on the top. On the back side, on the bottom, you'll have the scent profile here in the, mi the middle. Um, with some logos that kind of give you the idea of the profile. It says made in Tennessee, uh, Benton, Tennessee, and then it's an ingredients list around the circumference of the container, which is a nice touch. I think that um, for aesthetics, if you will, uh, that's just kind of a cool touch. Um, <clears throat> the ingredients of the oil is jojoba oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, and fragrance oil blend for their fragrance profiles. For the butter, it is shea butter, beeswax, sweet almond oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, fra fragrance, and essential oils for their fragrance blends. Um, consistency of the oils, um, pretty light. Uh, maybe a medium consistency with a light yellowish tint to it. Uh, this is a unique dropper as well. It doesn't have that real chiseled look to it. It's a, a, a thicker dropper, so you're able to maybe drop out um, more drops of your oil into your hand before applying it to your beard. For the butter, it's a nice... Uh, it's a thicker butter, but creamy consistency really really easy to get into your hand i'm barely touching it and i already have some on my hand there emulsifies awesome in your hand there you can see just a, a little bit of the oils on my hand there through the light real nice um, consistency to the butter i really really like it um let's touch on the scent profiles so the first scent profile we'll talk about is in the black oak. For the black oak, in the, uh, this is the only real constructive criticism I found for this company. The scent profiles are not listed on the bottles besides the name of it. It doesn't tell you kind of the notes of the profile. As well as on the website currently, they don't have scent profiles listed. They just have the options of selection for your purchase. I have spoke with Adam directly and that will be a, a change soon directly on the website. So keep an eye out for that. Um, out of um, efficiency as well as just um, me trying to give back to the company as well as my viewers, uh, the profiles were provided to me. I'll also include those in the description below so you can check those out before your purchase. Um, but the first profile is Black Oak. Black Oak is an, get this, there's so many notes in this, it's crazy. Orange, pear, orange, excuse me, orange, pear, cedar, clove, camphor, rhubarb, black currant, plum, gardenia, jasmine, rose, pine, musk, patchouli, vanilla, and raspberry. Just with all those different uh, di different elements of the scent profile, you know it's going to be unique. So when smelling this, it is probably one of the most unique profiles I've smelt this year. Um, it's really kind of difficult to explain. Um, you, you get a little bit of the fruitiness from the fruit, but then also some some clove in there with some woodiness, the earthiness of the patchouli. If, in my personal opinion, I had to explain this scent profile, it would be a... They all blend in harmony to the point that it's almost... It, it's kind of like the fabric softener beads that you find at the store, but a lot less synthetic. 
just that pleasant fabric softener fragrance that's not synthetic or chemically induced, if you will. Um, real nice, uh, clean, um, smells like a, a fresh shirt out of the dryer that's had fa fabric softener with it. Just awesome scent profile. Um, and it, again, I, I don't know of another company that makes a profile like this. It's really hard to explain. Um, there's so many different notes in the characteristics of the scent profile. Um, but again, think of kind of a fabric softener that's really nice and clean, really enjoyable, and I have no problem whatsoever of it. I, I really, really like it. Um, the consistency of the butter, again, is <clears throat> creamy consistency. Um, works real, real nice in beard. Um, really easy to obtain out of the container. Um, the ingredients for the butters are shea butter beeswax, sweet almond oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, and fragrance and essential oil blend again. And uh, even with the beeswax, it's not a firm butter whatsoever. Uh, it, it almost emulsifies in your hand immediately. Um, really works well in the beard. You're able to comb through it nicely. Um, moisturizes awesome. Uh, keeps your beard real nice and tame, but also really soft. Doesn't really have any type of styling factor to it. Maybe a little bit, um, but again, that's not the ultimate goal with a butter. It's more so to focus on the moisturizing factor of the butter. Um, and again, that is in the black oak beard oil and butter. Um, it has little leaves on it there. Um, but again, I get more of a kind of a fabric softener type tone to it. But um, again, it's not a synthetic smelling fragrance whatsoever. Uh, real nice profile and very unique. The other profile that I was sent is in the City Boy. This is also a unique profile. You kind of see some people touch on it um, in some of the companies out there. However, they hit a home run with this one. Of the two... This is my favorite. I do like the the black oak, but I, I really like this one. And I'm not a city boy, um, but I do like the profile. The profile here is cherry, sweet cream, and vanilla. This smells just like uh, cherry Garcia ice cream. It, it, it's like to a T, right out of the packaging. Nice and sweet. You get the tartness and the sweetness all together with the cherries and the cream in it. And, of course, that back end of the vanilla, just an awesome scent profile. Cherry Garcia was one of my favorite ice creams growing up, and I really enjoy it. You usually see cherry with tobacco, um, not necessarily the cream, and I, I really like this profile. And, again, it reminds me just like a Cherry Garcia um, scent profile. Definitely check that one out if you get a chance to. Um, again, the oils run uh, $19.99, the butters run you $17.99, so great deals both ways. Um, <clears throat> the scent profiles in Baird last about three to four hours for both the oil and the butter. Um, work real well at moisturizing, keeping your beard uh, nice and soft, moisturized, uh, easy to maintain. No itchiness, no dryness whatsoever. Absolutely awesome profiles with some ingredients that are true and proven throughout the beard game. Um, the scent profiles is what I would turn to with this one because their scent profiles are awesome. And I think, like I said, that that's the only constructive criticism I have is got to get them scent profiles listed because, again, they're awesome. And uh, I really think you're going to go far with this. Um, th this is an awesome company overall. I love that you can find them in uh, some of the local barbers, stylists, shops, uh, as well as, of course, in the, the moonshine still there at Sugarland Distillery. Uh, I love that. I really do. Um, Adam, I'm excited to see where you take this company moving forward. You have some awesome scent profiles. Uh, I do... Uh, look forward to seeing some of the new developments you come up with. I've seen some of the videos on Facebook and TikTok, Instagram. Um, 
I really enjoy some of the personalities you've ran into um, throughout the last year for sure, um, as well as basing some of your unique profiles on some of the people that you know. I also like that you uh, stay true to your name and your family name and base the company off the memory of your grandfather. I really like that idea as well. Um, and I will say this, the, the company as a whole, Adam himself, as well as just the products, they speak volumes for themselves. Um, they stay true to the roots, and I wish that more companies in the beer game would remember that and stick true to what they know and who they are. Um, unfortunately, you do see some companies out there that um, try too many different things or they have success and try to change some things up. And in all honesty, that's what they built their success on is staying true to who they were. And uh, Adam, please remember that. Keep, keep going with what you know and what you're doing because you're doing it right. Um, if you could, guys... Give their products a try. Check them out at the description below. Again, I'll also list the uh, pro, uh, scent profiles so that y'all can check them out and have further knowledge of what you're looking at. Um, if you could, also give them a uh, check out their Instagram, their Facebook, as well as their Twitter. Um, t if you could, when you purchase, tell them Denver Beard Review sent you. I truly appreciate your all's time and checking out this video. Um, Adam, keep going with it. You're doing well, man. I uh, really enjoy the products and look forward to uh, seeing where you go from here. Uh, guys, thank you all for checking out the video today and taking time out of your busy day. Uh, it's Friday here. Um, have a great weekend and uh, stay bearded. And I'll see you all soon on the next episode. Take care.